God. I'm walking normally after the surgery. I don't even have any pain right now. You can't believe I was on my the next day after the surgery. I was on my feet. I could, I, I could walk. And even the doctor was like, we are living testimony. Because they couldn't believe it. I really thank the Almighty God that even after the surgery, I didn't get any complications. I'm walking normally and I'm really fine. I don't have any pain right now like I used to have. This is my mom, oh, mom and she that. also has a testimony to give. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Those are her names. Mama Gloria. Gloria's mother. She is grateful to God. She's grateful to God for healing a daughter, Gloria. It was not easy. It was not easy. But with God, all things are easy. They didn't know where the, the millions they, they demanded came from. But God did wonders. He went to people and provided the finances. And they paid immediately. By the time she was through the operation, they had already paid all the money. So they thank God for that. They thank God. Um, 77 days of glory. During 77 days of glory. She was, her sister, her sibling was bewitched. The foot became sick. They were supposed to amputate her. But through this praying, here, they'll take the sister from here and take them to hospital. People of God. The, bro the brother was healed by the Holy Ghost. The foot was healed. She gives all the glory and honor to Jesus. Same thing. She also has a problem with the foot. There's pain. There. And the hand also is painful. She doesn't know how the thing began. So she, she's asking you to pray for her. She doesn't know what's going on. Glory and Amen. Honor to Amen. Jesus. Amen. And people with testimony, please be brief. We came brief. offering, which would like to give in right now. Praise the Lord, everybody. Those are her names. She she I joined the choir. But she was not doing anything at that time. Things were not easy for her. She went to the girl power office. They were killing them. They were killing them. She began to learn. But she said she was going to be a doctor. She began to learn. What she got out of there. How to create or make for yourself hibiscus juice. She began to do it, make it. She labeled the juice. She's grateful to God. Before, whatever she used to do was not successful. She even quit because everything was not working out. But ever since she resumed, she's been working. She works with her daughter. She's grateful to God. Now they don't lack food. The hibiscus is just It is also a health drink. It heals ulcers, cough, flu, bones that are getting old, and a lot of things. She has brought her seed to pray for her business. Amen. Amen.
praise God. Um, I'm Brenda Kembabaz, and I've come to thank God for my degree. I graduated on the 29th of July this year. If God was not on my side, I was going to graduate next year. I was given two retakes in my final year, and I told God, I don't want to do the retakes. So I told God, change everything in the system, system. and in UCU, uh, each retake is 500. So I, I told God I'm taking the one million to church. I'm going to plant a seed so that you can change the results. Oh, you say results Glory. So one day I came to, I remember it was a Thursday, I came to church. I didn't know I was going to see pastor because I was confused. So when, when I came, I saw him and I told him everything. I told him I brought my seed. I told him about the retakes and everything. Then he told me, you go and do them. That is not what I expected from him. <laughs> so I... He told me you go, God is with you. But I told him I don't want to. I want, I want an owner's. I want an owner's degree. Then he told me you go, you will get it. So on the 29th, I went. The follow, on Friday, I went and I paid for the retakes. And uh, God was with me. I sat the papers this year. It was actually this year around April. That's when I sat the papers. Uh, then when the list, the list, uh, when graduation was getting closer, the first list, I was, uh, the, the first list, that, the draft, I was, I was on the list. Yes, list, I was on the list. Then again, they released another list. I was not on that list. So I said, good, no. Me, I'm going to graduate. So on the 29th of July, I graduated with a second class upper with honors. I want to thank God. I also want to thank God that my dad is with me here. He never used to pray on Wednesdays. But I, I want to thank God that nowadays is consistent. I give the glory to God. So I Praise the Lord, everybody. Those are his names. He's grateful to God. He has spent about three years wanting to travel. But it was not successful. But this time around, God has done it. On the 15th of last month, he attended an overnight service. The Holy Spirit spoke to Pastor Kayan. Yeah, those who have been doing the visas and you've been denied, he was prayed for. He was prayed for. He was prayed for. That very month, on the 21st of that month, he was supposed to be in Nairobi for an interview at the United States Embassy. They asked him about three questions. They gave him a green card. He said, I want to know. Amen. <laughs> we pray. And uh, people think. They're just praying. God is good. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Those are his names. The God of Miracle Center is powerful. For 14 years he has been an alcohol. He could not spend a day without taking smoking cigarettes and taking alcohol. In August on the, on the 26th. 
Pastor called those who are getting saved to come up front. He came up front. Pastor prayed for him. Prayed for him from the 26th of August this year. He has never smoked a cigarette, he has never drunk waraji or alcohol. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. She has come to thank God for her heart. They told her she had a hole on her heart she was supposed to go to India She was referred to go to India for treatment. She had a problem in the stomach as well. They could not operate her when her heart was in that condition. She was breathing badly. She came and pastor prayed for her. Now she can do everything she can do before. She can speak. The, the, the heart is no longer swollen as it was before. And she came for the pastor's meeting. She prayed and saw the seed. They went and did that to see. Her heart is good. They don't need to operate. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Can I see those papers? What a mighty God we serve. My, my, my. All these are papers for you. Huh? Wow. Yem Sumba Kati Doctor Yangamba and Sol Agenda Cooperation in Gomtima Gwange Gulibubi, Katiwano Yawandi se Okulagan Tikati Guli Stable and Sobolo Genda Cooperation and Liba Doctor Gangambi Tiba China Chia Kun Kole. Doctors cannot do anything anymore. Katiera Nangamba ba nevampa appointment in Gakumina Tanu Bagendo Kun Kola Kunongo Solo Stomach Operation. So your heart is uh, the taste. What a mighty God we serve. Saints. Sometimes you hear testimonies. This is a lot of med hospitals and a lot of OB hospital. OB hospital. Minister of Health, Uganda Hearts Institute, Meditech Health Care. These are, these are, this is a file. This is not a far-fetched testimony. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Yes. My God. They want to remove her uterus and she has never given birth. She has an ovarian cyst. This is going to be the third operation. They want to remove she's married, she's never given birth, they want to remove her uterus. On the 15th, that's what they want to do. What is your husband? She's at home. Come with him on Friday. 
Nsumba ya gamba mbukatonda wali mkule na yali munoonya. Tayakala. You believe in miracles? Okiri zambi ama gero. Take the microphone from her. Mujie kakazitaro. Stay here. Sigala wano. Raise your hand. Wanike mikono. Thank you, Jesus. Mwebali yesu. Lord, we rebuke the cysts to leave. 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 Lord, give our children instead of the operation to remove the uterus. Heal the uterus and the ovaries. Lord Jesus, I pray that this time next year she will have a child. Yes, Lord. I rebuke the attack of the enemy. Satan, take your hand off her life. Fear and death leave. Touch. He's the great shepherd. Lift up your hand. Every disease in her uterus, I give you praise, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing her heart and for making her a mother. For making her a mother in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Rise up and be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Bow down before him. Tell your husband to come with you on Friday. And on the 15th, you are not going for the operation. You will go for the scan. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my Lord. Saints, you may be seated. And the anointing of God is so strong. The Lord is going to do great and many things. Thank you, those of you who join us back. After the presidential address on television, I know you're just joining us. The number is on the screen. Uh, we're just going to talk about Karamoja. And, um, and then we're going to get a testimony. Um, I know there are some dons and uh, people from Makerere University family. If you're here, we'll give you a chance for a testimony. In Jesus' mighty name. Um, God is awesome. That lady who has just left, where are you?
what is happening here through the eye the head and the eye she often gets a lot of pain no, in the head. even when she takes medication it persists it will never happen again in Jesus name saints I know you are watching us on television TV Every week, we have realized what's happening in Karamoja. Our operation cost is about 35 million. For fuel, seeds, and, um, and operation costs. We want to thank for UPDF and we want to thank police. UPDF, Nepalese, and the local, local leaders, they are really cooperating. We, we, what we heard is not what we are seeing. Because there is a lot of diplomacy Pastor Chris is using to motivate everybody. All that land you see has been planted, plowed, planted. All that land, all those hundreds of acres, to God be the glory, they are already plowed. They were bush. It was a real bush. And the maize, the ears are up. The ears are up. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. So the ears of maize is up. So we have hope that Karamoja will not starve. It will not starve. The machines have not stopped working. Our young people are working. Get something little to eat in the morning and spend the whole day in the fields. Now we need a lot of seeds, a lot of fuel, and uh, we are planting a particular type of maize that can grow in two and a half months. And so we will, we will fight hunger. We are, this week, Weekend. we are plowing and planting another hundred acres. That field is done. They are planting another field of a hundred acres Yikendera plus another hundred and fifty acres. So we had even to hire some tractors in order to help us beat the rain season. So this week, actually today, I authorize that they, they, they hire another tractor. Some, somebody has it in the area so we are hiring it to plow so that the other tractors we have can uh, harrow and plant and the rain is over there as you see it but we want it as much as we can in Jesus mighty name so we want to we want to thank God we want to thank all of you for giving continuously this is how we defeat the demon of hunger and the demon of death in Jesus mighty name and uh, so all efforts we are now concentrating on this but of course we are feeding and uh, we are closing and uh, we continue uh, to give mattresses and beds and, clothes. and, uh, and I'm, I'm grateful that you are doing that and uh, more people are bringing mattresses for people and so we are grateful for that but yeah, that's what's happening in Karamoja. And uh, people are receiving clothes. Uh, this is a new one. This is a new one. But please, when you bring clothes, make the one which are clean. Yeah, we, we, we are not going to take things that are not clean. Yes, there has to be a difference. Now, whoever gave those beds, I don't know how they will enter into the manyata. Because I, I don't know how those things, but chairs, yes. <laughs> chairs, yes. I mean, those, those plastic chairs. Yes, they can have something to sit on. And those mattresses. But uh, clothes, please make sure you clean them. And, um, and then you can be able. You know, it's amazing to see Karamojong wearing a suit. I don't know how she's going to jump. But it's such a beautiful picture. In Jesus' mighty name. 
And uh, there was one, like that young man, all he had was uh, shorts. But now see how he's looking like. So we are so grateful to your giving, to your giving. And um, God, people, people are happy. Karamoja from crying to smiling. And um, and masses, masses have no clothes, they have no food, but they, have, they are taking enough clothes for themselves and, um, and so that they can be able to warm themselves and decently, decently look. And so we are grateful to God. The food we took and uh, 20 tons is all gone because we are giving 50 kilos of of fortified food to Karamoja. This lady, I don't know why they don't bring the picture where they met her in the bush, blind. They, 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 they had to go and clean and, and, and not clean, dig around her heart. Uh, please, tomorrow fix that, that video. So make it with, with, when, when she was blind and she had no, she was in the bush there. But they were able to go into her heart because we, we found someone who can take care of her, cook for her, and make sure that if she's sick, he can call um, and and so all the time she's been okay not in the in the bush and um, because she didn't know she was even in the bush the bush had surrounded her we have that video i don't know where where that video is and um but anyway they made her bed And, uh, and I believe God is happy. The Lord is happy for you. And he will bless you more. He said, if you did to the least of these, you have done it to me. And, um, and not only that, but we have, um, we know, there was a lady who could not, she was crawling. You know, when I see these videos, I, I cry. I, I see love. I see what kind of love is this. You know, she was getting out of a jungle. And um, she had nothing too weak. Too weak, crawling on her knees. Too hungry, too weak. Then they brought her food. And um, she literally cried. She said, I don't know how these people could love me, even look for me or find me. And um, so when they went back, the food was finished. Because the food is so sweet and good. It was, it was finished. And... Um, and so they cleaned her place. And um, they were able to give a dress to dress. Three of them actually. So there she stands. There she stands. And, um, and then they made a bed for her and gave her her food, 50 kilos, for another month. And they made her bed, please hurry up, because we don't have the time. And, um, and she goes and sleeps. As she was sleeping, she pulled out her ID. <laughs> She said, I'm a Ugandan. Now I feel like I'm a Ugandan. <laughs> to God be the glory. And so she slept until 11. The neighbors had to come and, uh, and make sure she's okay. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. 
Then there is this young man, Mark. Mark really made us cry when we saw his ribs, the cause of hunger. Then they brought him here after two weeks. And then uh, I felt he needed to be checked. And uh, when they brought him here for sure, we took him to case clinic and they checked him. I don't know whether the videos are these videos. Anyway, they don't know. The, uh, okay, they took him to the hospital. They found he had pneumonia. And so they treated pneumonia. And then we sent him back. When they went, Mark was strong. Okay, that's how they, oh, when they brought him here. You know, he, he had pneumonia. Not only hunger, but he had pneumonia <inaudible> because <inaudible> the organs were sitting down. <inaudible> and, um, and they were able to treat him <inaudible> and grandma as well. <inaudible> and uh, then they took him back. <inaudible> we thank God for Sarafina. <inaudible> She's <is> just <inaudible> a wonder, a wonder of all wonders. <inaudible> that boy you see as bones is now you see the other side that is mark ready to become he's ready to, to box the whole world in Jesus name you guys have literally snatched that life from the jaws of hell And, um, and, and that's what God does. That's what God does. Through you. So we are so grateful. So we are so grateful. Tonight, yesterday we raised 11 million. The other day we raised about seven. So we need the balance for this week. But even much more. Even much more. I, I believe we can do more. I believe we can do more. So in Jesus' name, um, I'm going to wait upon you as we are giving a seat to Karamoja. And I know by God's grace, the Lord will favor you. The Lord will increase you. And the Lord will add to you. So each one of you get a hold of a seat. Even those of you watching by television. We are plowing, by the way. They send me footage today. Even just today, they plowed something like 50 acres. They plowed and planted 50 acres. Just in one day. It's a massive operation. And we, we are racing against the rain. Because this is October. They, they, they are saying, those people who know whether that by 15th November, end of November, the rain will slow down. And, but me, I'm believing God for miracles. Once you put your seed on the ground, hey, the God will send the rain. Cuba, from Cuba, India, or from India, over China, or from China, there will be enough rain there. The Bible says, whoever, if you observe, the conditions will not sow. If you look at the weather, you will not fight. You will not sow. So we are going to sow seeds. And we are going to plow. And I believe God is going to do great things. So please, in Jesus' mighty name, uh, let's give. I want to thank you, Miracle Center, because you are literally shouldering this. In the, midst, in the midst of your needs, you are plowing. There is a, a plow which video we has just come in today. Please give them the plow of today. In Jesus' mighty name. Because that is already planted. The maize is growing. Seven days ago, seven, ten days ago, the maize is up. So for, for Ugandans to be full of hunger, we are in such a fertile country. Look at the land. That's Karamoja. Hey. That's Karamoji. That's not Luero. So I pray that the Lord will do great and mighty things. So please give generously today. Lisa, if I can have a hundred people giving a hundred thousand shillings, that will be ten million. So we'll be ready to, to take care of this week. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We will succeed at this by God's grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So we're going to know how much we've given today. 
by the grace of God there are people here who have given some wonderful seeds and we are grateful to that they are in Jesus name Someone has given a million shilling. The Union Miracle Center. Union Miracle Center. Kanamba. They have given a seed. They didn't give us the amount. Pastor Isaac. Moyingo. Moyingo. $271. Another one has given a hundred dollars for Karamoja. Half a million shilling. Richard Katumba has given Gladys Kuno one children. They have given half a million shilling. Kunawa family in US, another half a million, that's a million. Pastor Elia Mosasizi, three million shilling. In Jesus' name, family and Mrs. Paul Karamaji, Andrew Katumba. Please give today. Let's give to the Lord. In Jesus' name. And I pray that God will bless you according to Isaiah 58. According to the God of miracles. According to the God of signs and wonders. Because that's what he has said. That's what he has promised us. In Jesus' mighty name. And you know, child of God, miracles are coming. Yours are actually bigger than anything you have ever realized. Hey. So just get ready to see. We are just beginning to see, and you're going to see more and more. Uh, you're going to see more and more. You're going to give online. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dr. Lumanzi. 325,000 shillings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Our God is mighty. Those of you watching by television, I know you are seated there. You may be faced with situations you, you don't even understand. You don't know how you're going to recover. But God has given us a promise in Isaiah 58. That promise is so powerful. Let me read it to you in the next one minute. If you can put up Isaiah 58, please. Because it is where we are standing right now. Uh, verse Six. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loosen the bands of wickedness? To undo the heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seizest the naked, and thou cover him, and thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be your real God. 
Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer, thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from thee the midst of the yoke, putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. Child of God, many of us are operating on the horizontal line. The things that we are looking at are things that are now where we are. My house, my job, my business, my house. That's how we are operating. But here when you read, he said, then your light shall rise up. First of all, verse 8, he said, then your light shall break forth. In other words, hey. you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. So he's talking about your life. This is about breakthrough life. Now remember he said, this kind does not go away, but by fasting and praying. Okay. We know how to pray. Because we pray all the time. Our Father which art in heaven, Lord give me money. When you pray, say. When you pray. So we know all these things. Okay? We know all these things. But what we don't know, what type of fasting you apply. Do I apply the Daniel fast in this circumstance? Yes, prayer we pray. Sometimes the Bible says we don't even know how to pray. Because when we pray, we pray amiss. We don't know how to pray. So at least we know some about, something about prayer. He said, he ask and receive not. Because you ask a means that you may assume it upon your hands. Ah, so this is what happens. If I ask to receive and I'm going to spend it on myself, then I am going to miss my prayer. Why? Because the prayer that does not miss is in Isaiah 58. Is in Isaiah 58. He said, then, then, then the, yeah, 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 Isaiah 58. He said, Thy light shall break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall come behind you. And then he said, Then you shall call, and he will say, Here I am. Oh my God. How many of you want God to answer you today? Well, the answer is very simple. He said, Feed the hungry. Dress the naked. Break the yoke. Those people are under a yoke. Even at your old age, you have to bend to go in your own house. It's a yoke. You've seen how beautiful the land is. So he said, when you break that yoke, which means God is going to give you the anointing to break yoke. Then he said that your light, which is your life, which is your salvation, is going to break forth. May God give you a breakthrough. May God give you a breakthrough. You are the light of the world. The city set on a hill cannot be hid. And he said, your healing shall come speedily. May God give you health. I mean divine health. And then he said, his glory shall be your bodyguard. And righteousness will go before you. Remember that the prayer of the righteous availeth much. In other words, it makes available. It makes available. It's the righteousness. The prayer of the righteous ekunganya gathers. Binji dala avails much. When you're passing, you pick whatsoever you desire. 
I'm declaring this month of October and November, November, November and December, and December, and December or again, come on, pick you want pick everything you want. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jacobo, you tower all on the Bio Yagara. Somebody gonna pick what you want. But it's a chicken. I don't want that. I want to chitwale. Oh, to chitwale. To we pray to take it. To we have even uh, uh, reduced uh, uh, the price. Chiri chiri chen Yagara. Eh yo, eter na kadiwa. Eh yo, eh yo, eh yo. That one. That's what I want. The fervent, affectious, fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. It makes available too much. It makes available too much. <laughs> Child of God. So what kind of fasting? Many of you have tried the Daniel fast. You have fasted the water fasting, the fruit fasting, the vegetable fasting, fish and meat fasting. But still, the situation is still there. But he said, if you do this, feed the hungry, close the naked, like we are doing in Karamoja. All the prayers you've been praying, they're going to be answered together. Glory to God. I don't know who I'm preaching with. They would have shown you the pictures of kids before and now. All those kids came out of the, of the manyata. And Manyata has about 900, 90, 90 households. So all those kids have been gathered there. Mom is dead, dad is dead. As you see them. And how many of you know the children God gives us are miracle signs and wonders? Many of them, they don't show you they are behind. Many of them were naked. So they came, the mothers, they received clothes. I tell you, the hand that is giveth will always prosper. There is this story of this wonderful, wonderful girl. They arrived there and uh, before, and they didn't have anything. Before this, before this, uh -huh. there. That girl you see, no, 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 I want the other picture, please, the other video, that one. When they went there, that girl was looking for dirty things to feed the family. But there was no food. Mom is dead. Papa is dead. She's the biggest in the family. That girl. There was nothing in the house. So they gave them the food. Remove these things, okay. That girl. I want you to look in her face. So Sarafina had to teach them how to even cook the porridge. And they cooked the porridge. And the young ones were so. Look at how they are looking at the porridge. You see the picture behind there? So when the porridge was ready. They brought their, 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 their only utensils, plates. And it was still steaming. That's how hungry they were. Because if you don't test with them, they think you are poisoning them. And so when they went back, food was finished about four days ago. That's the girl. She was 
She looked like any other girl in Kampala. And that girl is, if she tells you the story, I wish they could put the sound. I want you to hear. I want you to hear her English. Because you may think these people are just. And as she began to, to narrate her story, if you can put on the sound, what, what the sound? sound? And they have taken days no, no, without eating any girl. kind of food. And they are happy that they are taking this porridge. As you see, everyone is concentrating to make sure that they finish the porridge. And the porridge is really tasty, as we have heard from make sure that these people have food. How do you look after them? Thank you so much, everyone. This is a smile we come to. How do they pay you after fetching water? They pay two thousand. Per jerrycan, per how? Per day. So a day you fetch like how many jerrycans? Even twenty. Wow, wow, that is the economic activity of this. Go for someone's work. Someone's work, like what? Like fetching water. So how do they pay you after fetching water? They pay two thousand. How many jerrycans? Uh, she makes sure she fetches twenty, 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 20, 20 a day, and she's paid two thousand to make sure she sustain this family. That's why we want to thank you so much. Partners of, partners, of, partners, of, partners of ministry for the aid you're giving hope to people. We are glad you're finding us stronger than she was, and she's looking better. We can't thank you enough. Once again, once again, once again, again. the Robert Kayanja Bucket Initiative. God bless. I've, I've been always uh, quarreling about this, but today I'm not quarreling. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. You've heard it yourself, so you can see what I, what I deal with every day. In the 21st century, in Kampala. In Kampala. In Kampala. Kampala. So that is... I'm not going to quarrel to say. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, I But thank you for giving good clothes. Because when you look at that girl, they were given all mattresses. And, um, and they were given beddings so they can easily sleep well. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you could hear that girl. I, when that God is capable of being the future MP or minister of government. But the devil wanted to cut her life short because of hunger. She fetches 20 jerrycans of water a day for a thousand shillings to buy residue of kwete to feed that's fast food and um, now this one had uh, gotten finished uh what was going into your mind it was very, the food got finished. how do you make sure that these people have food how do you look after them someone's work like what like fetching very fast that how is do they pay you after
You think we're interested for us to hear someone? Shoot people we don't need. Just interested to hear the children. We leave what they ought to be doing and then they do what they ought to be doing. They're still struggling with sound. I'm not going to say none today. <laughs> I, I have fasted that one. I'm going to fast that one. I'm not going to say none about that. I'm going to quarrel with you. But Thank you so much. Those of you are watching by television, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I believe you are giving and they're going to give us the names of the people who have already been giving. Have you been writing them down? Uh, people have been giving. And, um, and we, we are going to pray, don't worry. We're going to pray for the sick. We have so many people to pray. Mivule Douglas, 200,000. Thank you so much. Ntejiremie, Emmanuel, 20,000. Uh, Tuinabuire, Daniel, 50,000. Tulina Muhindo, Hirare, 50,000. Eric Arosias, 100,000. Thank you so much. We have got people giving 20,000 here. Nandutu, Judith, 20,000. 25,000, Nyakate. We have got people giving a hundred thousand here. Nziabake uh, Roida, a hundred thousand. Maureen Valia, two hundred thousand. One hundred thousand, I mean. Then we've got um, fifty thousand. Baraza Emmanuel, thank you so much. Vincent Mwanguzi, a hundred thousand. 80,000 Ahimbisiwe Judith, 28,000 Dennis Kalunji, 15,000 Nabulondera Jacqueline, and Saddam Hussein, 21,000. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to God. People are giving. We are grateful to you. 50,000 Nabatan Zigoretti, 40,000 Sylvia Nalutaya. Thank you so much in Jesus' mighty name. I believe there are people going to give 100,000 here today. Uh, Joseph Orome, Urome, 65,000. Uh, Restetu Tabagenda, 50,000. Thank you so much. Uh, Tukunda Neboth, 100,000. Betty Nasazi, 100,000. Thank you so much. Please keep on giving. If you don't hear your name, it's because of time, but we thank you. Keep on giving tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord was with us. Continue giving. The Lord is going to bless us mightily. So the, the funds that you've given right now for Karamoja is 12 million 868. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. When we add on this, I think it's gonna it's gonna go to uh, to about fifteen or twenty. We believe those of you watching my television, please go ahead and give. Go ahead, Miracle Center. You don't know how much you're gonna be blessed because we are doing a lot of stuff. We are doing a lot of stuff, and the Lord is gonna prosper you. The land is being plowed. Maize is growing already, and we are looking forward to do amazing things for the glory of God. May the the Lord give it to you back a hundredfold. A hundredfold. In Jesus' mighty name. And they'll give us a total so far. Uh, maybe by Friday. So far, the money we have raised since we raised what we have already spent and what we are giving already. I know we are not yet at a billion shillings. But the damage against the devil of hunger is too much. May God bless you. May God increase you. May God add to you. They still need more.
more food. More food. Because whatever we gave a month ago is finished. And we need to get more food to Karamoja. To God be the glory. Thank you so much for what you are doing. We are grateful to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, it wasn't only that. We found ourselves at Makerere last week. Oh boy, Friday was incredible. Friday and Saturday, we did the evening crusade meetings. But I tell you, it was out of this world. Oh, it the was power out of this world. That was the evening rallies at Makerere University. And the students were not yet there. This was just a working staff and the people there. I wish we did the crusade this week with all the students. But nevertheless, the Lord did wonderful miracles. I mean wonderful miracles. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Wonderful miracles. That girl had no eardrums, both of the ears, and was getting blind in the both eyes, using very, very magnifying glasses. The Lord healed that girl, and she's hearing well, and she seems perfect. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. Get up on your feet if you're expecting a miracle tonight, and give God the glory. And then we had uh, we had a beautiful breakfast with a, with a, with a, with, a, with a, from the chancellor, vice chancellor, and their families, and all the professors and the doctors. And doctor, support team. It was a beautiful, beautiful breakfast. It was wonderful. Thank you. Um, Miracle Center, Miracle versus, Center restaurant, versus Restaurant, Hospitality Group. Hospitality group. Thank you, Missions. Thank you Mission. for the work which was done. It was really unbelievable. Yeah, it was really unbelievable. And when we finished, then we had lunch. We had lunch. Oh, man, the food. They sold me the food the other day. I looked at it. I felt hungry again. In Jesus' mighty name. But they pre presented something that was very powerful. I don't know why they're sowing me so that the whole country can know I'm so, I eat a lot. But anyway, it was really, really amazing. And uh, then we had lunch. We had lunch for all the workers. Oh man, it was unbelievable. I don't know what, what they're sowing that. I don't know why they're sowing these pastors. Why? <laughs> I didn't know Pastor Arthur, you work at Makerere. <laughs> so, it was really unbelievable. I mean, they're not sewing you the tent, the big net. I don't know. Like a tent, I don't know who is sewing those. Like a panoramic stuff. view. Okay, see, Jacob Yomba. I'm not going to say none today. You forgive me. Yomba, they don't. Like you. It's I like call someone is paid not to show you the picture. And uh, but it was out of this world. Then we did a, a prophetic prayer tour. We walked to campus. We walked building to building with the chancellor and his wife and the, and the wife of the vice chancellor, Professor Sali, and others. We prayed. We walked. We made a prayer walk for revival, for the move of God. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. So we are so grateful to the Lord. And uh, let me tell you, the chairman of this uh, executive committee of uh, professors and doctors of Makerere was, there, was one of our own. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Pastor, Pastor, Mrs. Susan, Susan Nawangwe, Nawangwe, wife of the Vice Chancellor of Makerere. Come on, give her a hand clap. She, she did a fantastic job. Fantastic job. And uh, let me ask her to come here. And please stand up on your feet. And give God the glory for this wonderful woman of God. And um, it was... Uh, it was off the charts. It was literally incredible. And um, it was marvelous. It was marvelous. Please come and uh, share with the people. And uh, we want to say, come on, give her another hand clap for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God, everyone. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I'm part of this family. 
being here just makes me at home. God bless you so much. He deserves all the glory, the honor and exhortation. The small Susan you see here. Susan, I'm here to testify about the mighty wave of the Holy Spirit into the university, Makere University. University. For once we saw an invasion Wanti. of the Holy Spirit. It's something I've never seen all my life for Uchi. the last 46 years. It is, I mean, eyes have not yet seen. Ears have not yet heard. No mind has conceived what the Lord did at Makere University last week. I'm telling you, I'm even shaking within. I don't know where to begin from, Pastor. Because, I mean, our Lord preached about the mustard seed. Eh? Mustard, seed yeah. mustard seed, which is so small, but it yes, grows into a very huge tree. Family, when I we talk about seeding, when Pastor is really talking a lot about karamoja, can we please listen? And we saw that mustard seed. Pa Pastor is true. I've Amazi been magia. sowing seeds over time. Crying Maze on banga, that seed. With, nansiga, I mean, the nansiga. seed of a woman crushes a serpent's head. Nansiga. Every given opportunity I've been seeding. And not only seeding, but even crying to that seed and nansiga. prophesying nansiga. to the seed. It's an opportunity for kar karamoja. karamoja. When Karamoja came, karamoja yajia, it was a time when I was given a seed. Actually, my, my husband was traveling and I, I had a medical challenge. I was supposed to undergo an operation. But what I did when I got that money from him and I knew that this money is coming from Makere Kofas. It's not coming from my business, not from my pocket. I knew that this is it. The yoke must break. Every burden, heavy burdens that Makere are going to break. God is going to turn things around for the glory of his name. I got that seed and a lot of pain. I cried to that seed. It was a sizable seed. Yeah, it was about it was almost it was a, a, about one thousand five hundred dollars. I said, God, this is a seed I'm getting it from Makeri. But I'm believing that out of this seed, you are going to open the doors for Makeri. Because we are tried so many times. I mean, the gates were not opening. There was a bit of resistance. But I knew that this seed prophetically is going to open the doors and Makere is going to open again. The gates are going to be broken. The foundations will shake. Heavy burdens will be broken. And the glory of God will be revealed. And guess what? When I saw that seed in June, in June, actually, I saw gates starting to open. That's when we got permission into the university. And we, when we got permission into the university, that's all we needed. We knew that everything would fall in place. Even as they had given us, I mean, they, they, they had given us uh, the sports ground for all the activities. But I knew the God who worked on that masterpiece is going to turn everything around for the glory of his name. I thank God for our pastor. Pastor Robert and Pastor Jessica Kayanja. Kayanja. Thank you so much for being visionary. Thank you so much for being led by the Holy Spirit. When I shared with you the burden of Makere, actually, for you, you saw beyond my sight. You saw beyond my vision. You saw something great. You did not only bring a crusade to Makere as I prayed for, 
But listen to this. I've been to places. I've been to universities. There is a time where uni we were invited to the University of Yale. That is the third university in the whole of this world. It's the first, the third university. When they were, in, they were appointing, uh, enthroning a new, a new uh, president. Pre for them, the vice chancellor is called the president. And their presidents are for life until when you retire. So it's a big ceremony. They invite all uh, chancellors and vice chancellors all over the world. And in Africa, um, Africa. Besides Cape Town, Cape Town. Makero was invited. Makere and we are, we are able. Makero was ably represented by the vice chancellor and his wife. Vice chancellor, you must allow your yoga party. Kubira yesu engalo atege de chigena maso. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Who knew that a, a, a very small woman, very insignificant, not anywhere on the church of this world, can attend such an event? But when I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. But I'm, I'm just showing you uh, like what they were, the way they prepared. They had a banquet. Everything was classy. It was fine dining. The very base of the cutlery I've never seen. The way it was arranged. The hospitality. I mean, they, they came to pick us, just me and my husband. And when an, an executive van of like 100 people. So I told him, you better sit at the end, let me sit at the front. And we kept on communicating because it was just a two van. So uh, when we reached at the, I mean, at uh, the, uh, uh, dinner, it was fine dining. It was a big buffet. buffet. I was rubbing sh shoulders with the vice chancellors of Harvard, Harvard, of Cambridge, the Cambridge of Oxford. The Oxford. And they were calling me professor. So, what I'm, what I'm trying to explain to you, that kind of banquet of fine dining with the top of the mighty in the academy in the world, that is, that is something close to what we got at the university. I'm telling you, when they talk about breakfast, I'm so afraid that actually they don't have big coverage. When I saw here, it was a lunch they were covering. Breakfast, you people. Eh? I'm telling you from the arrangement. By the way, the arrangement, you see our pastor here. And Pastor Jessica, Jessica. Pastor Junior, Pastor uh, David, David and all the A team, the, a team the hospitality team, team the ushers here, the sound men, everyone, sound. the choir, choir, they were there throughout the night. Bas, bas, I saw, you know, we, we like when you look, read the book of Nehemiah, when they were rebuilding the wall, when you, it's in Nehemiah 4 from the 6th to 15th, everyone worked with one heart, with all their hearts. I saw pastors lifting up tables, I saw him arranging that, I mean, uh, chairs, I saw him walking from one end of the tent to the other, the tent was like a football pitch, he was making sure that Everything is in place. Everything is orderly. There was fine dining. Fine dining. Actual set up. The set up which was beyond the best hotels we have here. I'm telling you. When people came the next morning. My God. The marvel. Everyone marveled. They couldn't imagine the transformation. In less than 12 hours, the place had changed. I mean, you would feel the sound of the Holy Spirit hooping, hovering around the whole hill. The glory of God was revealed. People came, they were in amazement. They could not believe. They were looking at the orderliness. The Holy Spirit is a, a spirit of order, a spirit of organization, a spirit of class, exclusivity, excellence, the top of the best, and indeed, that was what, has, what was at Freedom Square. Freedom Square. Everything
every table was labeled. It had all the exotic, I mean, they call them, uh, um, what do they call them? Um, like uh, imported, um, uh, imported fruits. Assorted. Assorted. I think I'm forgetting the term, yeah? But imported fruits. <laughs> you talk of grapes. So there was an abundance on every table. Apples. Name it. The juices. juices. For me, I had three packs of juices in front of me. I looked at my I couldn't even finish one of them. The food was in abundance. There was an overflow of attendance. But I'm telling you, for me, my eyes have never seen this for the last 46 years. Yeah. Because I could not, I tried to look behind where the food was coming from and was not getting finished. Family, we're talking about 4,000 people. And everyone was, full, uh, f I mean, fed to the fullest. And there was abundance even for people to carry. People yeah. were carrying, people uh, were seated outside there on the grass because the tent was full. And everyone was was tent yeah. For me, this is beyond my own. Pastor, I know. I'm not here because of uh, Makere. And I'm here to testify as Susan Nawang. A member of this church. I know Mani. there is a delegation team coming soon from Makere, Makere to testify. And by the way, Banang. this came from them. It did not come from me. But out of that abundance, the love that was flowing from Miracle Center up the hill of Makere. Here we are in the valley. But just know that it was flowing upwards. So it went to that hill, the hill of knowledge, where everyone in Uganda here, whatever affects Makere affects the academia. So the anointing flew from, right from the valley and climbed up the tower. And that anointing came to everyone at the university. university. And I'm telling you, Babuli nobody will remain the same. Because this one, I've never seen it anywhere. My eyes were, I mean, they were, they beheld. This one, I will, I will even tell it to my grandchildren. Even my great, great grandchildren. I believe God will give me that life. And I will testify that in the year 2022, the year when Makere University was making 100 years, we saw the Holy Spirit moving in mightily. Of his glory, and invaded the university. And the university did not remain the same. It touched from the tip of the head to the sole of the feet. I'm telling you, let me testify that these people in most institutions. They never take care of them. I'm talking, I know, yes, I know the chancellor was there, the My vice chancellor, the council members were there, the senior lecturers were senior there, lecturers were there lecturers professors, name prof it. Prof yes, the heads of departments, the directors were there. But there are these ones, whoever, whoever, eh? Touches the list. Uh, those uh, those lists like what we could call uh, related with Karamo Karamoja. Mm? Whoever Bully. does this to the list uh, of my people, people. Eh? he's doing it to Jesus. Uh, so these are the people who uh, ensure uh, the bathrooms are clean. Uh, the cars are clean. Uh, the drivers, uh, I mean, the cars uh, are driven. Uh, the mechanics who got uh, down under uh, there to uh, check. Uh, to the, uh, the people who mow the compounds. The people who the sweep, of residence, yes. the people who scrub, those ones who empty the dustbin, everyone who is invited and treated. And treated. I know you are saying, yes, I know you are the five star luncheon. Five star, five star luncheon of fine dining. I'm telling you, some of them, I'm so sorry. Maybe they have never even used that cutlery. But I saw the Holy Spirit teaching and them. And indeed, I saw the glory of God revealed. They were very attentive. And for them, their testimony was, was like, who can ever think about where the list of the list 
God bless Robert Kanja Ministry. That to us, we, we are turning our grand finale. Because no, nobody has thought about us. But you remembered us. Thank you, our dear pastor. You made an impact. You, made an, you touched us so many. People did not, I mean, pastor, I know. When you are there. You did not call for, you did not have an altar call. But I saw the hearts of men and women who are broken. I saw tears rolling, tears of joy rolling down their eyes. And I saw the glory of God. Thank you, Lord. 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 In the next 100 years, we march triumphantly. We march triumphantly. Into the next 100 years. Never again shall we ever hear negative noise from the university. The foundations were broken. Heavy burdens were broken. The burdens were lifted. There was reconciliation. At once we are dining together as a family. Right from the top to the bottom. Without any discrimination. And we believe the universe will live in harmony. And the glory of God will be revealed. Living, not forgetting about um, the testimonies we saw with our own eyes. The girl you're talking about, I saw. And I looked into those specs. I've been wearing specs for the last 20 years. But I could not see anything through those specs. It was something else. Not specs. But God created her eardrum and her sight. Not, not only that, but there were so many things Miracles. It's only that there was not enough time for everyone to testify. But I believe time will come. Men will come and testify. We shall see them. And not forgetting the book, the present, the present pastor. Robert and Jessica Kayanja. Besides all that glamour. They sold into the university. Besides that glamour, you know the, these academics, they believe so much in the written. Anything written. Pastor, they printed books for over 2,000 people about readdressing the imbalance. I know some of you have read that book. And everyone was given a copy. And Pastor, what the members, uh, what uh, the people at Makara are saying, they, they are praying. Basaba that they will have an audience with you. Because there is, uh, like when you're defending, when you publish a book, you have to stand at the pulpit and <laughs> then they fire your question. <laughs> then, you, then you defend. So they're looking for that opportunity that you've given us a book, we are going to read and digest it and conceptualize it, but we want you back eh, so that we can have an exchange with you. And I believe there will be an opportunity. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I believe the, opening, the, the Holy Spirit will go ahead of our pastor. And who knows that we maybe will get another PhD. Because of that, because you don't just defend and you live with nothing. So there is a reason they are calling him to defend. Let's wait and see. The eyes are here. Let's wait. So, Pastor. We know a lot is about to be unveiled. But please, and the people of Miracle Center, thank you so much for your generosity. It was because of your generosity that that seed was sown in Makere. That seed will touch your children and your children, 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 children. children. So how many generations, I don't know. Yeah.
So whenever a pastor, a pastor stands here and calls for sowing, please don't take it lightly. It's an opportunity for you to sow into the kingdom. God bless you. Thank you so much for loving us. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor Robert. Kayanja. God bless you so much. And amen. Come on, clap your hands to Mrs. Susan Nawangwe, Pastor. You know, God is a good God. And, uh, and we pray for Makerere University. We pray there are so many uh, uh, departments that needs funding and uh, research. A country, that's why I'm so concerned about that story of the 2,000 schools that are failing. They are closing. 2,000. If you lose 2,000 schools in this 21st century, it's like losing hospitals or losing churches. We have to find a solution for those schools. We have to. The Bible clearly gave fivefold ministries. And one of the fivefold ministries is teaching. Is teaching. Is teaching. One of the attributes of the Holy Spirit is to teach. He, said he will teach you. He will teach you. So we really need to pray. Uh, even all other departments to get finance, finances departments for research. It, it, it's unacceptable. Like we were sitting in that big tent with all those brains and having issues of Karamoja, issues of, 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 of water. Sort shortages of um, crops not growing. It is, it's, it is bad. So we need to really work out a solution and to continue to pray. So we love Makerere, we love the Chancellor, Chancellor Professor Suma and his wife. We love the Vice Chancellor. Uh, Professor Nawangwe Professor and his Nawangwe wife and their families, and families we pray that the God will continue to do great and mighty things. Well, online you gave 3.3. So, so far tonight we've raised 16.181. 16.181. We are left with 3 million. 3 million 800 and, uh, and, uh, and 19. 3,819,000 to make it to 20 million. So I'm going to give you at least another five minutes. Five minutes. Then I'm going to pray for the sick. The people here who need God. Five minutes, we can raise the three million. Three million. Uh, three million eight hundred and nineteen. We have sixteen million one hundred and eighty-one. That will give us a total of twenty million. In Jesus' name. Our God is a perfect God. Just lift up your hand and laugh. You are not laughing. I told you start laughing. You will see the goodness of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor. Hey, this is our pastor from uh, Switzerland. She has given $300. That is a million plus. I, I tell you, we are going to raise this money. This is 100000 Here is another 100 uh, $100. So we are making progress. We need 3,819,000. So if you have a seed, just bring it to your own line. Please give. It shall be given back to you. Your 100,000, your 50,000. So if you're here, you have a seed. You can bring it, and uh, we are going to see the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, sir. 100,000. Thank you, God, which will bless. Please count this money. And, uh, and uh, translate it into Uganda shillings. And then we are going to see how much, how, how much we have. So if you're giving, please just bring your seed here. 20,000, 100,000, 50,000, and uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh.
Mr. Stephen has given us ten dollars. Thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name. Then we have got another hundred thousand here. Then we've got another, another, another one hundred thousand. So we are making progress. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. God is good. There is another fifty thousand there. There is another fifty thousand here. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and give him praise. We have a ten thousand. We have a we have a fifty thousand here to God be the glory another 20,000 shillings in Jesus mighty name well this is the, in five minutes we're gonna raise this uh, in five minutes we're gonna raise this uh, yeah we're left with three minutes somebody clap your hands to Jesus. what a mighty God if you have a seed just bring it to the Lord in Jesus those of you online please give your 100,000 your 50,000 your million your 20,000 you're gonna make it to 20 million you know every time you sow seed in this ministry we, 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 we pray about it and then we, we also sow it in good soil where it will have effectiveness in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, sir. This is another 50,000. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Another 20,000 in Jesus' name. I know some people are bringing their 10,000, 100,000, 50,000 in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Don't miss this great opportunity to the Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Thank you. Thank you so much. 50,000. Thank you. 10,000. Oh, you deserve the glory. Ten. And the honor. 50,000. Thank you. 20,000. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Thank you, 50,000. Child of God, as you're watching on television, that's your money you've given. We would have taken it and feed the hungry. But we said, no, let's plow, let's plant, so that we have more harvest to feed people for the next six months. In Jesus' name, another 20,000. Thank you. Somebody's bringing another 30,000 to make it 100,000. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor. 50,000. 20,000. Oh, you deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. with two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. As we praise your holy name. And you are great. 10,000, 5,000. You do miracles so great. 20,000, thank you. There is no one else like you. 20,000, praise the Lord. There is no one else like you. 20,000, 50,000, 10,000, praise the Lord, 10,000, thank you baby, 7,000, 20,000, oh you deserve the glory, 20,000. 20,000. Oh, as we praise your holy name. Hey, come here, young man. Do I know you? Do I know you? What's your name? Manya. 
Meshach, Shadrach. What do you do? No courage. Your face looks familiar. How many of you remember this young man? Who came here with asthma, with machine? That's the picture. And that is the oxygen tank. Yes. I have my sister. I have my sister. She has, she has the same problem. Your sister has the same problem. What is that machine? It's at home. You no longer walk with it. No. Yes. 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 Amazing. As I saw him walk here, I, said, I know you. But this view of TV makes people hear. This, that boy was so big. There. But this one come close. They use the wide angle. Stop using that. And you too over there. My God. Are you the mother? Yes, I'm the one. I'm just looking at you there, and then I look at here. I'm the one. Yeah. How is Shadrach? Shadrach, how you check it? Shadrach, asthma we are stopping. We are asthma stop. Kata af aduka. Na af nechi into na aduka oba na ava kuba na reka na na yoro na kubicha tandika asthma we yakuma. So now he has those things. Yes. Even now, now there are two. So you, you, you just have to increase prayer in your house. That's where the issue is. Sadrach has no problem. Right, buddy? Mm -hmm. See what? Well. Man, it is tremendous to see. Sadrach. He has lost a lot of weight uh, since that, uh, the medicine had made him so big. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You're like Power Mike, huh? Man, you look, you look so handsome. <laughs> you may be seated. Man, that, that kid was on that... My God, look at the size. Do you remember that? Somebody get up on your feet and clap your hands to Jesus. That's, that's amazing. What a mighty God we serve. For you are great. You do me recall so great. Here's the money. Oh, there are more people who have given. Somebody has given uh, Pegasus Technologies 200,000, 20,000. Uh, Kabagambe. Navi Wemba, 50,000. Please add this one there. There is no. Come on, come on, give me the total. Give me the total. There is no. Saints, we serve a mighty God. We needed 319 cash. You have given is three million and ninety thousand. And online, online church eight hundred and forty-seven. So when you add it together, you are into three hundred and uh, eight hundred and fifty. So we have succeeded by forty thousand shillings above. Oh, you are great. So tonight we've raised 20 million towards Kalamoja. You do me recall so great. There 
there is no one else like you. We give you praise, Jesus. There is no one else like you. And you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. I give you praise, Jesus. There is no one else like you. Whenever I feel the pain, whenever there's your sickness, let the old man place his hands on his legs. Put your hands where you feel the pain.
Lord, I rebuke every infirmity. I rebuke every disease. I rebuke cancer of the liver, of the legs, of the muscles, of the blood, of the pancreas, of the ovaries, of the uterus. I rebuke in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. My God, my God, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah El Elyon Adonai, you are here today. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every, 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 every malfunctioning cells, whatever they are, whatever causes it. I rebuke the devil. I rebuke the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I said to you, Satan, get out of people's lives. Get out of people's lives. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Oh, God of glory, God of mercy, I rebuke every sickness. I rebuke every disease by the authority granted to me by Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. I said to you, Lucifer, die at the root. Spirit of death, forget. Leave the skins. Leave the liver. Leave the heart. Leave the mind. You jaundice. You cancer. You tumors. You breast cancer. You tumors. You growth in the armpit. Get out. You blood disorder. You blood disorder. I adjure you by the authority granted to me by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get out of the people. You headache, you fever, you pain, you suffering, you toothache, every pain, every disease. Get out. Get out and get out. Get out and get out. Leave. Forget every sickness to those at home, to those in the house, to those in the hospital, to those everywhere. Be thou here. Be thou made whole. Be thou here. Every paralysis, every blindness, every deafness. Get out. Leave. In Jesus' mighty name, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you majesty. We give you life. Get out. You spirit of sickness and disease. Get out. Leave the people alone. You have no power. You have no right. Get out of the children. Get out of the mothers. Get out of the fathers. You demon of Ebola. Get out of Uganda. Get out of Uganda. Get out of Uganda. Get out of Uganda. In the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. You spirit of poverty. Sickness and disease. Get out. You fear. You paralysis. You demon. Of barrenness. I assure you. In the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. The spirit of rejection. Spirit of sickness. Spirit of diseases. Lord, descend on your people. Lord, touch the people. Lord, heal the people. No more itching. No more skin disease. I adjure you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Leave now. Leave now. Leave now. The blood of Jesus is against you. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Sickness, diseases, get out. Leave. Never come back again by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release life. I release miracles. I release healing. I release deliverance. I release joy. I release salvation. I release holiness, righteousness, faith, and power. In Jesus' mighty name, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive your life. Never, never, never. Never again. Never again.
never, never, never again. Father, your power is here. Your power is here. Now descend on that young man. Deliver him. Heal his liver completely by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, be thou healed. Young man, be healed. In Jesus' name, let your kidney be healed. Lord, give him a brand new kidney. Remove the cancer from his body. Remove the sickness. Heal that man's leg by the power of the Holy Ghost. Totally set him free in Jesus' name. No more leaking. No more pass. Die at the roof in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be thou made whole. Be thou made whole. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. And 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 amen. Say Jesus 21 times. Gamba, yes, everyone, every Mugumu. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, 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 Young man, come here. Mighty 
young man be healed in Jesus name 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 In Jesus' name. that can give him strength. I rebuke it to death in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose his legs. Loose his body. Die at the root by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I don't come back again. Die for the glory of my Jesus. For the glory of my God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. In Jesus' name. a miracle God. Our God is a miracle God. Lift your hand, saints. Now start doing what you could not do before. Start doing what you could not do before. Check yourself. Get up and walk. Move in the name of Jesus. Check yourself. In Jesus' mighty name. Your disease is over. Your sickness is over. Yeah. She's been bedridden. She's now walking. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus, the Son of the living God. We serve a mighty God. Our God is holy. Our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I decree and declare major financial breakthrough today in every area of your life. Jesus' name, you have clothes for your father. Bring them here quickly. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Hurry up, hurry up. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, come on, come on. Radosita Karaboshete. Rigarodo Zibra Gasata Rosita. Regesipra Gosata Rambre del Site Kerebo. Ridarobrodo Satarabro Kosita Rabra. 
Rederebo, you are God of miracles. 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 Somebody shout, you are God of miracles. You are God of miracles. God of wonder beyond the galaxy. God of wonder beyond the galaxy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. God of wonder beyond the galaxy. Marosata rokosa. Rederoso toko robosita. Rederosata karabosata raba. Rederoso toko robosita raba. Do what you could not do before. I give you praise. Healing is in the house. Healing is on that man tonight. Healing of deliverance. My God, my God. Glorify your name. People shout Jesus. Touch my life. Touch me. There is a gentleman who came here. Who brought a ten dollar. Where are you? Where are you? You brought a ten dollar here. You brought a ten dollar. Come here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. I give you praise, Jesus. Redo sataraba kosetaraba. You are holy. Just step over there. In the name of Jesus. If you feel pain, no pain, no suffering, just come here quickly, please. In Jesus' name. Come on, people. Lift up your hand. Something supernatural has happened to you. I feel it in the spirit. I feel it in the spirit. Today is Thursday, but you come, uh, today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You 
you're going to be here testifying. You're going to be here telling the truth, telling about what God has done for you. Just laugh and rejoice. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, quickly. What's happening? Shivan has been sick over known diagnosis. Her limbs were numb. Numb, numbness on her both limbs. During prayer and worship, the Holy Spirit touched her. She can now walk properly and supernaturally energized. In Jesus' name. Yes, what was the problem? Um, I came from school and I was very sick. They took me to Victoria Hospital and they agonized me and I was suffering from nothing. They were saying nothing, but I was feeling so weak. I had difficulty in breathing up to now. I have difficulty. Like legs. Well, I feel, by the time I came here, I was feeling like they were paralyzed. But now I feel they are better. So I still have some difficulty in breathing. Put your hands on your chest. This is your brother. God delivered him. Yes. He mentioned you that you have a sister who has the same thing. I rebuke that. I command it to leave you. Never to come back again. Get out. Get out. You powers of darkness. Get out of the house. out of the house. You are free. In Jesus' name. Pastor, this is Chigundu. Chigundu. For five years, okay, he has been suffering from asthma. asthma. And is holding his inhaler. He could not breathe without it. During worship, Mkusinza. he believed God. And Chigundu, Chigundu. Can, pray, can breathe without the support of an inhaler. My God, my God, how would you feel? He was not breathing well. He was coughing and using the inhaler. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 The breath is coming back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Touch Holy Spirit. Touch in the name of Jesus. Touch. What? What? You powers of darkness. Lose him. Mate. Lose him. Mate. Lose his life. You speed that box like a dog, I rebuke you. You are holy, Lord. From the crown of his head to the sole of his foot, deliver this young man. Not only from asthma, not only from breathing problem, but also finances, his own life. Lord, I free him from the yoke of slavery in Jesus' name.
Six months ago, she suffered a stroke and lost her memory. During worship, Katshabe now knows that she's in church. She could not walk, now she can walk. God has done a miracle. So what was wrong with mom? Mama Yabachi. Stroke ya mkuba in Jan, sis Jan, ngadate gira wari, tama nibia, beamba denga, chumte kakwa chijako, ngadate gira. She was, she was not in her mind. Na yetu wa dewa ni mkusabane, tuta ambula wano na angamba tuliwa wano. She could recognize, she could recognize people at the place where she was. Yesu ya kunyone kwa. Mkamasibu. Asimum no. Hey. Hallelujah. Ina. Hallelujah. Amen. Waruga kazo. Waruga kazo. Nija. Kudeba kudeba kayanzo. Amina. 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 Mukama simu. Mutadi. Wow. 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 Oyo ya nyo. Wanji. Hey. No one. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Oh, wonderful, Lord. Wonderful. Since January, January, she could not remember. Now she knows everything. She even knows she's in the church. Ah, somebody clap your hands with Jesus. So these are all his, his the checkings. Huh? Yes. The X-rays. Wow. Wow. She was not walking normally. Back was sick. Wow. And this is for the bank. Yes. Smash. What a mighty God we serve. So, on a sent it. She's money. What on your daughter? On your own. What's her name? Bona Navana Banji. Somebody clap your hands with Jesus. <laughs> Abana bota ni kubatu masente dola. Dollar money. Somebody clap for Jesus. That's wonderful. Pastor, this is Staff Sergeant Kasonko. Staff Sergeant Kasonko. For six months, he has suffered a known disease. Several hospitals could not diagnose the problem. And he decided to come to church. During worship, he found himself jumping. He can now squat without pain at all. God has done a miracle. 
Yeah, I'm healed now. I had spent six months. I'm working in Iva and I'm attached there. Uh, when I got the, the sickness, I came back to Bombo. Bombo, Bombo checked and they referred me to Rubaga. Rubaga also checked. These are what we are showing in normal, normal, normal. Everywhere. I went back to Bombo. Bombo, they wrote for me some drugs. To get them at the Abakasi in Kampala there. I took medicine now six months. When I, when I was watching the channel, 44, I said, no, let me go to Pastor Kayanja and pray for me. When I came here, I passed there, the pain went, and I'm now feeling okay. Thank you, Pastor, for healing me. I didn't heal you, Jesus did, but I'm glad you're okay. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Staff Sergeant, may God bless you and may promote you. In Jesus' name, yes. Pastor, this is Mire Kagwa. For five years, she had a problem with her hip joints. She had surgery and she came in severe pain. She couldn't walk properly and she couldn't squat. Mire during worship, the power of God touched her. She can now walk. She can squat. Praising My God. God. My God, how are you? Much better, Pastor. Much better. You've been having pain in the hip. They said that there was a swelling in the in the. Yeah. And, uh, actually, my doctor gave up on me. Even now, they said there is a swelling. They, they don't know what to do for me. I was operated in 2017. But whatever they operate, it comes back. Whatever they operate, it comes back. It's in the hip here. Swelling, just full of water. In the hip. So you could not squat. No. Can you? Yes. You couldn't do that. Yes. 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 You could not need yeah, My legs could turn green, this right leg. They could turn green. Holy Spirit, what? go Genda. swearing disappear. Simba. Fuluma. Get out Fire. in Jesus' name. Both limbs he could not walk one month ago. He came to worship today and he was delivered. He can now walk but and he can squat. Praise God. 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 He said he has two months to When he was praying for the Father, then the same. For one month he has not been walking, he could not, he could not walk. As he was walking, he is now able to walk again. You could not walk, now he walked. Even the feet had become swollen. They had become swollen. Lift your hand. Look and lean. My brother Lee, look to Jesus now and leave. I give you praise, Jesus. It's recorded in his word. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Deliver him. Deliver him. Deliver him. A 
and the old man. Let me say, wait. Touch. What? That's the power of God. That's the power of God. In Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you only look to you. Just lift your legs. Lift your legs. Let me say, who is free? Come on. Your father is free. Is Nyarwa. Nyarwa for the last two years, he has suffered four episodes of suicide attempts. Today, during worship, he felt a conviction and he confessed that he wants to live and he wants to give his life to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. This is my son called Don Nyarwa. For the last three days, he, go, he, he disappeared from home. He was staying with one Kanakuria, just a baga here. So this, we had information that he wanted to commit suicide. He has separated his uh, the family, separated. Had is married with two children, twins, has been three times, is living a reckless life, is educated, is a very learned guy, but he has that spirit of commitment. Pray for him. That's why, but this evening he called me. Let him take me to the church. Then I said, Which church? He said, Take me to the miracle church. God is good, man. God is good. God loves you. And he's going to do great things. Whatever was bothering you is living. Just touch your head. Take a mikono kumutwe. Get up on your feet and shout amen seven times. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It's breaking. It is breaking. It's breaking.
was a name to me. He was brought in Vatoro Nyarwa is a Toro name from Fort Potro. Loja Don Nyarwa. God is going to start with you. God is going to do something wonderful with you. Pastor Timothy. Yeah. He stays with you. What is Kanakulia? yani. Then you bring him to Pastor Eddie from the Bible College. Bible College. Study the word. Serve Jesus. Where is Jesus? So get him a house. Get him settled. In Jesus' name. Life is not worth dying. There is much more things for you. Amen. You don't have to kill yourself. God loves you and he will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Stand up on your feet. God is good. God is good. God is good. He is here. Lift up your hands to Jesus. Lift up your hands to Jesus.
you are testifying. Friday, you are testifying. Friday, you are testifying. In Jesus' name. Hey, Friday is going to be a great day. Don't miss every day. Don't miss every service. Continue to pray for the team in Karamoja. They are working hard. They are doing everything possible. And I believe God is going to do great things. Maize is already growing in Karamoja. So God is good. God is great. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name. God bless.